Hey there fellow wedge shavers, you're Brian here with the Wedge Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. In today's video, we'll be using Maddie Lindholm MLSS, Maddie Lindholm Shaving Supplies, and this is um, Citrus Freeze. And I don't uh, have a splash that matches exactly, but I'm gonna go with Zingari Man's Gypsy. This is Citrus, Cucumber, and Pineapple. A Little bit of a different vibe, but it's got the citrus and hey, look at that, the yellow matches. All right, um, for a razor, we are gonna be using the um, West Coast Shaving Charcoal Goods Level 1 Head with a West Coast Shaving um, Handle. This is on loan to me generously from John, AKA Lather Hog. So if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll link it in the description, check it out. Um, <clears throat> and we have a no-name brush that I traded for at one point um, from my buddy Tristan. And um, so there's no coin and nothing on here, but uh, it was orange and um, I'm an Oregon State Beaver fan. Yes, I am. And we are four and one, by the way. So super excited about that. This is the best we've been in many years at this point in the season. Sole possession of first place in the Pac-12. Super excited about that. Um, and we are all lathered up in the Lancaster Razorworks Bowl. Um, and this makes a great lather. And by the way, we will do a giveaway announcement uh, in this video, and we will reveal the winner of the last $20 TRC gift card. So just hang tight, um, and I will get that to you. And um, so if you saw my unboxing video with this, um, let me wipe the face here where it started. If you saw my unboxing video with this, um, this was sent to me generously as a gift from Matty Lindholm himself, straight from Sweden. And he sent it to me because on one of his videos, he introduced this soap, but he was looking for suggestions for a name. Um, and he used my suggestion. And so by using that, he was kind enough to send me a free jar of it. So this is supposed to be super, super duper highly mentholated. Uh, if you watch any of Maddie's videos, uh, he and both DK, Damn Fine Shaves, like things mentholated up. So I think he sent a puck of this to DK as well. But anyways, this got a little water on it. This is not a um, waterproof label, but you got the um, Swedish flag on there. Uh, I think this is the number um, 34 tub. Uh, and this is a soy based soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils, and menthol. So very simple ingredients, but man, it lathers up super well. Uh, give you a look at the pour there. There's the pour. You can see I did not scoop out a whole lot out of that. So a little bit goes a long way with this soap. It really does. Um, I got a tremendous volume and amount of lather and this is super slick stuff too. So, um, he makes a few different ones. So in the United States, at some point he'll release this or he's sending some to uh, Marion the Barbarian to sell here in the US. So I don't know exactly when that's gonna be available when he's sending all those, um, but I will link Marion the Barbarian's channel. And then I, there's a specific email. I think I forgot to put the email in the uh, unboxing video description, but uh, Marion has an email that you can email him regarding any of Maddie's soaps. I don't know if he has others of Maddie's in stock currently or not, but um, at some point in the near future, this one will be available. And you know, for as much, I, I'm, the menthol is starting to kick in a little bit. Um, didn't notice it really prominently right up front but as the soap sits on my face, I'm definitely starting to feel that cooling. And this is, um, like I said, lemon, orange, and lime, but this definitely has um, a lot more lemon in it. So that's definitely the most prominent note on there. I'd put scent strength, you can smell the menthol in it too. I'd put scent strength at a medium, probably four and a half-ish, Somewhere in the somewhere in four to four and a half. Uh, 
I have a couple of other of Maddie's soaps. I have this Harry Wong soap, which is like a basil um, scent. And then I have, um, I can't remember, I have like two others. I have an orange one. And then what else do I have? I'm gonna look. Oh yes, I have the Ecto Cooler. That's right. That's the one that has uh, the uh, that Marion came up with from the high C idea from when he was a kid. All right, so let's put some water on here. Left some lather behind. Sorry, there. So here's a question for you. I saw this come up in one of the Facebook groups. Um, so we get into our second pass. Um, and I saw some comments and I never really thought too much about it, but I fill up my sink with the, with water, with warm water. And I use that water to rinse my razor in between, um, you know, when I get lather on it, but Somebody was asking a question about that on a Facebook group about is it gross to use that water when you're like rinsing your razor in that water because there's little tiny hairs in there. Um, and somebody said soap scum, but I'm like, it's the same soap you're putting on your face from your bowl that's in that water. So I don't, I don't really think that's an issue, but um, versus rinsing and turning on your sink and rinsing your razor in between every time you need to rinse it. And I don't really see ever see any hairs on the actual razor. I mean, I, I flick it in there really quick and pull it out. But do you put water in your sink and rinse your razor in the water? Is that is that gross? Or do you use the um, tap and turn it on every time you need to rinse your razor? Something to think about. I don't know. Comment below uh, what you think. Uh, somebody actually even commented, I don't get how a lot of YouTubers actually do that. And I've just been doing that for years and years and years, even before I was a um, a traditional wet shaver and using a DE razor. I mean, even when I was young and learning to shave and had a cartridge razor, I would do that. So, um, you know, they're in the water. I don't know. So, comment below if you if you have an opinion. And this razor is working pretty well. Um, the first shave I did with it, I think was Friday and I actually thought I got a pretty good shave. And then after I got everything on, like or my face rinsed and my, my after, um, shave balm on, uh, my wife goes, what's on your face? And I have like three or four little spots of blood and one on my neck that I got myself and I didn't even realize it. So um, I shaved with this yesterday and I've, I'm have i using a, a steeper angle and it seems to work much better. So and I think I just didn't have the angle right on the blade or on the razor as I was shaving. So I think I got it figured out now. Very mild shaver. Um, this is not available anymore. Um, I did think maybe I got, there's a mole right there. And I think I must have nicked it. I've nicked it a couple of times here and there. I'm usually pretty careful with it. But I think I got it this time. Definitely if you're on the menthol, but it's not, I'm not usually a huge menthol fan, um, but I'm not, <laughs> there we go then, now it's freezing. All right, well, before we get into this third pass, let me announce the winner. So we'll announce the winner here.
All right, so congratulations, Patrick. Uh, you can, if you're on Instagram, you can message me through Instagram with your information. Uh, I'm at the wet shave experience on Instagram, or you can email me at the wet shave experience at gmail.com. And I will email you the um, electronic gift card that was so generously donated by the razor company. And then for today's giveaway, actually Frank at Stripe Gold Shave has um, offered a free honing service and has donated that to the channel for me to give away. So this is going to be for you straight razor shavers out there. I don't know how many of you watch my channel because I don't straight razor shave a whole lot or at all, I should say. <laughs> um, but if you are a straight razor shaver, you have straight razors and you need a honing service, um, Frank will uh, provide that for you as a, as a gift to the channel for me to give to you. So how do you enter that? I'm going to put in um, hashtag Frank um, and um, put that in the comments. And in the next video I do, I will announce the winner to that and um, we'll get that given away and then we'll continue. Uh, I have a few more giveaways to give away. So uh, there you have it. So that's the, the 500 subscriber giveaway um, rewards keep going. So uh, again, we hit uh, we hit 540 at one point and we're down back down and you never know. I mean, you, you watch that number, it kind of goes up and down sometimes. Um, but um, you know, we're at 530 something now. Anyways, um, so thank you all that have subscribed. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If you like this at all, by the way, hit that thumbs up button. That all helps the channel. Uh, very much appreciate it. And let's get on with the third pass and get done with the shave today and everybody can get on to their day. All right. So I did see where Brian from Charcoal Goods is uh, kind of up and running and he's, like I mentioned, he's out in Bend, which is only a short couple hours from here for me. So at some point when he's actually really up and running in production, it'd be awesome to see if I could go check out the facility. All right. Um, but this is a head that he made for West Coast Shaving. And it's supposed to be equivalent to the level one, uh, which is where I would be, I think, if I had a charcoal goods. You know, it's interesting. When I first started, uh, I used to see some charcoal goods stuff come up on the, like the buy sell trade sites, and they were, it wasn't an inexpensive razor, but it wasn't by any means outrageous. Um, and um, as as he went out of production, and moved. They kept getting more and more expensive and I was like kind of kicking myself a little bit for not picking something up when it was available but I don't know his exact plans on what he's gonna re-release but there will be stuff coming again from charcoal goods I know he put a bunch of the handles that were left over from before on the, his website. I think they are mostly copper and brass. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but, um, but at some point he's gonna be back in production. So that is what I am waiting for. I love that stinger handle. I hope he redoes that. Pick up these weird hairs. All right, and that'll do it for the shave part. So I'm gonna rinse the face here. Ooh, that's cold. So I use cold water, kind of close the pores there at the end. And that's cold stuff. Feeling the chill, feeling the chill. This would definitely be a great summertime uh, soap, that's for sure. All right, put a little recovery splash on here. This smells to me like kind of, definitely get the pineapple forward on this one. It's citrus um, and cucumber, but I definitely get more of the pineapple uh, and it's kind of, 
kind of fruity, really, um, but in, an, in a good way. So, all right, thanks for tuning in today, folks. Uh, and we'll see you soon in the channel. And congratulations to the winner and um, good luck to the next one.